Hello, I'm Dimyake Wakalielie. And I'm Vincent McCorry. This is In Focus. We begin in Addis Ababa. Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir and Southern Sudanese President Salva Kiir held a one-day summit in Ethiopia Tuesday. The meeting in Addis Ababa is designed to pressure North and South Sudan to break a deadlock on critical issues ahead of a scheduled January referendum on Southern Sudan independence. President Bashir is wanted by the International Criminal Court on charges of genocide, war crimes and crimes against humanity. But Ethiopia is not a party to the ICC and therefore cannot oblige to arrest Mr. Bashir. As the Sudan referendum nears, uh, Khartoum uh, is accusing officials of the semi-autonomous south of discouraging southerners who reside in the north from registering to vote, a move they claim would invalidate any of the vote uh, at the referendum. Now, the South vehemently denies that claim and it, it accuses the North of threatening those residents with dire consequences if they dare vote for cessation. Now, Mr. Ezekiel Lol Gatkuth, head of the Southern Sudan's uh, missions to the United Nations and the United States, and a member of SPLM ruling council, joins us now to provide a perspective. Ezekiel, welcome to In Focus. Thank you very much. For Let's uh, begin with uh, those accusations. Uh, are SPLM officials discouraging uh, the Southerners who reside in the North from registering to vote in January? Uh, this is not true. Uh, basically, uh, the southerners are eager. The SPLM position is very clear that we are actually encouraging all of them to vo register uh, and come and vote on the 9th of January 2011. Uh, those who are in the north, uh, of course, uh, they have decided, some of them, they have decided to go back into the, into the south to register. And, and those who are still there, of course, they are actually fearing for their lives because if you can recall there are statements that are coming out from uh, from senior members of the of the NCP threatening them that if uh, you are going to vote for separation uh, you will not even have uh, basic treatments in the hospitals because definitely it is a no-no area where you cannot actually uh, vote. So what you're hearing <clears throat> is that uh, some southerners may actually be afraid of registering but you are not uh, discouraging them from registering. Yeah, that's, that's true, that's true. Mm. They are just afraid of actually registering because if uh, they go there and register, uh, then their phone numbers are being collected and then the National Congress Party will call them to come and vote for unity. This is actually the fear that they are having. Mm. And if they are forced to vote uh, for unity, which they don't want to, then definitely uh, the, 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 the referendum will not uh, be credible enough. Mm -hmm. Now, along with that, as we get closer to January, it appears tension is rising. This is uh, particularly because of some unresolved issues. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the most stubborn issues that are still pending? Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, the post-referendum uh, issues are uh, basically uh, the issue of security, the issue of citizenship, the issue of all your revenues, and also the issue of uh, Nile water, basically natural resources, and uh, international treaties and legal issues. But most of all, it is actually the issue of RBA. Mm -hmm. We need to resolve the issue of RBA uh, before the 9th of January 2011, because the Ngok Dinka needs to uh, to decide if they are going to be part of the north or they can return to the south. Also the issue of the border between the north and the south. Mm -hmm. About 80% of the border areas we have agreed upon. Yeah. And the two parties they have agreed to call the United Kingdom to help us because they are the one who drawn the border between uh, mm -hmm. the north and the south. Yeah. yeah, so the ABA issue has to be resolved before the referendum. That's true. What are some of the issues that can actually wait after until after the referendum? Uh, well, the issue of the post-referendum issues uh, uh, some of them will drag on until after the referendum. If you can actually take the issue of the revenue sharing, uh, we have uh, proposed as SPLM to the National Congress Party, tell us exactly all the contracts you have signed uh, with, the national, uh, with, the con uh, with, uh, with companies, oil companies. Uh, the issue of uh, uh, international treaties, uh, but definitely the issue of citizenship. Uh, have, they, it has to be resolved before the referendum, but the rest can wait. But we definitely we are committed to make sure that uh, if there is a possibility of us striking a deal before the referendum, that would be very good. But if 
it continues to drag on until after the referendum, then we will definitely yeah. wait for that. Yes. Now, as we mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. a meeting was held in Addis Ababa to try and uh, resolve some of these issues. Mm -hmm. What was the outcome of the meeting? The focus was actually basically ABA uh, because uh, the National Congress Party basically decided to hold ABA hostage. They don't want to let go of ABA and they need some ransom from the U.S., from the world community. Uh, to release RBA. And then the two leaders, the President of the South and also President of the Republic, Umar Bashir and Sal Fakir, when and other uh, head of states from uh, IGAD countries, they were there. And we are trying to have a breakthrough on the issue of RBA. But as of now, it's still the negotiation is on, and uh, President Mbeki will continue to have uh, further discussions in. Uh, in, in Khartoum okay. with the two parties to resolve the issue yeah. of ABA. But generally and principally we have agreed that uh, mm. we will actually find a solution on ABA before well, the 9th of January 2011. Yeah. Yeah. Tafril will be following this uh, discussions and uh, hope uh, you'll come back and tell us a little more about that. Thank you. Uh, Ezekiel uh, Gatkoth, who's the head of the Southern Sudan mission uh, to the UN and also here in the United States. Thanks a lot for joining Thank you. us today. Thank you.